But today is our open gate Sunday. Today is our open gate Sunday. And listen, the Holy Spirit said to say to you that until you obey God's word, God's word will not be fulfilled in your life. Last week Sunday was our open heaven Sunday. And there were three keys that the Lord gave us. You want to experience open heavens? Number one, you have to walk in prompt obedience. You want to experience open heaven? Number two, you have to fulfill all righteousness. You want to experience open heaven? Number three, you have to tithe consistently. Now, today is our open gates Sunday. Listen. Whether you know it or not, there are gates everywhere. And whoever controls the gates controls who comes in and who goes out. There are virtual, virtual gates or invincible gates and there are actual gates. So the fact that you can't see it doesn't mean it does not exist. The fact that you can see the gate does not mean it does not exist. Sometimes gates are there to prevent you from accessing some things. So you look into some families, you see gates. You see gates where nobody goes to university. Nobody is educated. You see gates of poverty. Nobody becomes rich or wealthy. There are gates. Gates. If you don't deal with these gates, they will be consistently blocking. There are generational gates. I don't have time to go through them now, but in a second service, I'll take time to go through them. Like Psalm 24 tells us, it says, lift up your heads, all ye gates. Be lifted up, you everlasting doors everlasting everlasting that means it doesn't move until prophetic proclamations are released before those gates move until you identify the gates they'll be there forever there are gates there are gates there are gates and if these gates are not open, you'll be there marking time. It will not be so for you this year. Amen. I said it will not be so for you this year. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So I prophesy over you that anything that represents gates and resistance, they be broken now. I said they be broken now. Every iron gate be scattered now. Every gate of resistance, they be scattered now. Every gate of poverty, they be scattered now. Every gate of stagnation, they be scattered now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come not in our name. We come in the name of the Lord of hosts. He is the Lord that is mighty in battle. Therefore, I decree open gates. I decree open gates. I decree every invincible gate is open. I decree every invincible gate in the realm of the spirit over your life. It is opened. Ephrata, be open. Ephrata, be open. I command the gates be open now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We call it done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give Jesus some praise.